but just say it's irrelevant to video deletion because it can't be proved it was you. So for all intents and purposes, it definitely wasn't for the purposes of adjudicating this issue with me and Taylor. And maybe we'll get some other people in the room too as witnesses and stuff. But I can't you argue know, that. You, because you're the fucking problem, Nick. Because you're the thing that, because Taylor's like, we can't do it in the main room because I don't want fucking Nick butting in. And I was like, that's a good point. And then what do I do when I'm talking to Courtney? What happens? You prove him right. You're right. All right. So, Courtney, I need to know I can defend you, which means you need to stop clinging to this rock of wrongness that is dragging you to the bottom of the ocean. Whose fault was all this? Tell me it was your fault entirely, which it was. Now, I, I, again, I am not talking about the past incident. I have not turned any of the shit I could turn, okay? There's all kinds of shit I could turn and go on offense here, Courtney, and I've chosen not to because I'm a nice guy. Now, what you need to do is grow up a little bit. Whose fucking fault was this? Whose fault was all this drama? I mean, literally, not one speck of it was my fault. You've already said multiple times I did nothing wrong. And yet wrongdoing has occurred. So whose fucking fault was it? Say it, Courtney. Okay, thank you. So it was your fault. Say it. Say it was my fault. So I can defend you. I will stop hammering you as soon as I get you to understand that fact. And then we can go on to defense mode. And we can change teams entirely here. And we'll go to the other side. But I need you to say it was my fault. <laughs> say it. Nick, shut the fuck up. Say it, Courtney. I will start defending you as soon as you do. Then you give me massive ammunition to defend you. When you say it was my fault, then I can really defend you. Because then you've given me ammunition to use. You've admitted something. You've learned something. I've proved my general overall point. So you've got to help me here a little bit, Courtney. Say, it was my fault. Say it. Oh, hi, Nick. Hey. Courtney, say it, please. It's not that hard. It was your fault. Admit it. It's okay. We all make mistakes. I fuck up all the time. I didn't this time at all. Can you let me back in? I'll get her to say it. What, is she not in here? Somebody needs to leave. But she's thinking. She's thinking. Give her time. Relax. No, I, I can rephrase it to where it's... I don't want to rephrase, Nick. That's the fucking point. It needs to be direct, simple, and clear. But it will be simple. It was my... If Nick, you know, shut up. It was my knows, fault. That's the only phrase that's acceptable. If she knows that she's saying it's her fault within the framework I, that you're giving her. No care. The, the instructions are clearer than that, Nick. I am not asking her to understand things or know things. I'm asking her to say a sentence. All right, let me look at the chat. If you want to type it and not say it out loud, that's fine. I can live with that. Okay, then, then you're not learning. Then you haven't learned anything because there were a lot of events that occurred and they were all your fault. You already said I did nothing wrong. So whose fault was it? Okay, thank you. Now, I'm not asking you to take any culpability for the video deletion because it can't be proved, so don't say anything more about it. Just say, I got nothing to say about that, and that's it, okay? Don't answer any questions about the video deletion. Your answer is, I, I am innocent of that until you guys prove me guilty, and that's all you say about it, okay? Not another word about it. Don't try to explain why you didn't do it. Do you understand me? I want you to take your defense attorney's advice here. Do not try to explain why it is that you did not delete the videos. They have the burden of proof to show that you did delete them. They've not established that. They don't have any proof. So fuck that topic. They're not going to get anywhere with it, okay? They're getting nowhere on that topic. Don't bring it up. If they bring it up, if they're bad, because I will point out the fact they're, they're making wanton and uh, unjustified accusations. Okay? Now look, you're going to have to take my advice here and be a good defense attorney client. That means listen to what I'm telling you. I know how to argue this shit.
Who, who's are you? Is anybody accusing Courtney of deleting those videos? Who's accusing her? Because I want to see some fucking proof. No, you did it. I don't believe you, but why? What what you do all the time, though, Nick, is make a bunch of unnecessary background noise with your wind tunnels and your fucking paper crumpling contests and your and your throw my phone through the bushes to make a lot of noise shit that you do all the time. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So look, when Tay I'm gonna get off of this for a little bit. When Taylor contacts me and saying he's ready, we will go get set up in probably room two and we will lock that room and we will let in a few people in to observe. And if we have a desire to ask for audience feedback, we will ask for it. But we're not going to, this is not a, this is an actual trial because we've got two partners in this process who are in disagreement about the future status of this individual. I am in favor of uh, sustaining some Courtney around here, at least for the purpose of general, it's a good thing to do. It's not, it's not good to be a dick. And, and Taylor's opposed to it. He doesn't think she deserves to be here at all. So I'm going. To, we're we're going to have that conversation, and we will invite some observers. But we don't want it to be a group fucking everybody shouting at shit. We're going to actually argue the chains down properly. It's going to be Taylor versus me with Courtney as my defendant. It's going to be fucking awesome. Fuck yeah! See, this is a good thing about about all the drama. Courtney is your fault or not? I'm happy with it. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah. I should. That's true. Maybe, maybe we will. Why don't you make the room with Justice Poppy? It could be your. You could be admin of it. TWFP Court. All right. So I'm gonna. I'll. I'll follow up with more. What's that? All right. Quickly. Quick press conference. What's the first question? It seems like a challenging case. <laughs> when dealing with... It's when dealing with an individual human being, I cannot avoid but side with their individual humanness over a reduction of them to a description of their past bad behaviors, tendencies, or whatever. I am somebody who believes everybody has a chance to be redemptive in their lives, to grow and optimize. And that includes Courtney. Well, it's not true that I that Courtney's allowed to sleep with me. It's not true that Courtney has had her sleeping with Eric license revoked. So that is the case. She's not allowed ever to sleep with me. It's been revoked. It it answers your question though. I I didn't answer that part of the question. I just said I didn't say that. I, you did ask that question. Do I think she's a good or a nice person? The answer is, I think everybody's fundamentally good and nice. And to the extent that they're not, it's, it's what they need to optimize out of. Yes. That's okay. Nothing wrong with the SFPs. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant to the case at hand. Neither was the last question, but I indulged it. Any other questions from anybody? Not, anybody else want to ask questions? Feel free. Thank you, Poppy. You're a good man. Make yourself king of the room of justice. <laughs> All right, good. Um, any other questions?
Okay, I'll be back with more logistical information about when and how this is going to happen. Or it's going to be in room two. It'll be shortly. I'll let you know as soon as I find out the wins. Thank you.